Welcome to the net to pick product demonstration. I'm your host, Mike Boric, and I'll be your guide today through the product. After downloading and installing net to pick from the NetQuasion website, I can go ahead and double click on the icon to launch it. While it's loading, let me state that our goal in designing net to pick was to offer an easy to use and portable solution for automating the capture of detailed Visio snapshots for use in documenting, assessing, and communicating pertinent details about managed networks. And whether that's to support a troubleshooting scenario, communicate a change planning event, or to simply comply with an internal management or compliance function. So now that net depict is loaded, it prompts me with a main menu that gives me four options from which to get started with. First is to configure net depict for SNMP data capture. Uh, and for the purposes of this demo here today, I'm not going to be showing this uh, for the sake of data privacy. Uh, two, it's going to offer me uh, the ability to view net depict on a sample network that comes included uh, with net depict. Three is to allow me to import data collected from either a, an internal management system or from a, you know, a scripting process or whatnot uh, that has given me data that I want to be able to then import into net to pick to create Visio drawings from. And then lastly is to actually preview a live network, uh, which I'm not going to show as well. So from here, I'm going to select sample network and later I'll show how the configuration process for using net to pick on a live network. So at this point, NetDepict has loaded the sample network data and asked me if I want to make a preview drawing of the network. So I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. NetDepict then automatically analyzes the network data to enter structure, adjacencies, and relationships between devices so it can render the most physically accurate and detailed representation of the network uh, as possible. So now that it's completed, I can see here, uh, once I close these windows, that NetDepict has uh, provided me with that preview drawing. I'm going to go ahead and expand this so we get full coverage. Uh, and in this preview, I have full interaction with the network data, either collected or in this case, you know, um, imported into net to pick from the sample network included. And it allows me to, you know, uh, have very rich interactivity with this uh, information, allow me to drill in and drill out, uh, move various devices around, and highlight selected devices uh, that I want to create a Visio drawing of. So if my objective here, for example, is to create a Visio package of different views of the network, I can start by going into my drawing menu and creating a global uh, drawing of the network uh, here and go ahead and launch that process. And I can see now I've got a first tab inside of Visio uh, that represents the exact uh, layout and, and scope of the network as uh, previously shown to me in the preview. So now I'm going to go back into my drawing preview and I'm going to say I want to add additional views to the package that I need to put together, whether that's for an internal management function or for a customer, uh, and perform different drawings. So I can go here on this Core 3 device, select a, you know, a local drawing. In this case, I might want to see the network from this device's per perspective up to two hops away. So I can go ahead and click that. Again, uh, net depict goes into Visio represents all that information and provides that in an additional tab for me uh, down here in the right hand corner. So I can go ahead and, and repeat this again and again and again until I've got basically the package of views of my network uh, that gives me the perspective that I need to convey in a much more powerful and efficient way than trying to do it the old fashioned way manually. And now that I've created all the Visio packages that I need, I can just as easily go back and configure Net to pick for use on a live network. So I go up to the main menu and select Configure Net Depict. I get the SNMP configuration window, which allows me to define the scope of the network or the networks that I want to collect data from, and whether that's a series of individual hosts, specific IP address ranges, or specific network segments, or, or really any combination of the three. And the best part here is that Net Depict uh, needs only the basic IP information and the read-only community strings for each defined entry, meaning that it's both secure and harmless to run in a live production environment or at a customer facility. So in the interest of time here, I'm not going to show NetDepict walk the entire network, but instead I'm going to show the import mechanism of NetDepict uh, to represent the data that I collected from a previous survey. So I'm going to go up to the data menu, uh, do a clear data, and do a import. And I can see that NetDepict allows me to select comma-separated value files for both my device information and my neighbor information and I'll go ahead and select OK, and Net Depict is then going to ask me, uh, now that it has imported that data, if it wants to, if he wants me to make a preview drawing of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. 
and I can see that NetDepict is then crunching the data just as it did before on the sample network, but this time it's performing those calculations on a much larger network that's got much more uh, components to it and many, many more relationships. And I can see now that as the data starts to crunch and NetDepict figures out where to place items based upon the relationships uh, and its algorithms for the drawing generation parameters that I can define here in a second, I can see that NetDepict then goes ahead and tries to optimize that to produce as much of an accurate depiction of the physical layers of the network as possible. So once it gets to a point where I feel it's in pretty good shape, I can actually stop it, click close, go back into my drawing preview window, and now I can see that I've got the, uh, a much more deeper network to play with. And again, I have the same interactivity, same manipulability of the data that I can move around with. And as I mentioned before, I can actually go into my generation parameters and I can determine whether or not I want to select, for instance, layer two uh, information, layer three information. Uh, I can specify drawing settings for the spacing between uh, vertical uh, devices and horizontal devices. Uh, and then I can even get into much more fine-tuning into optimization thresholds and step sizes. Uh, and really the whole idea here is to offer controls that allow NetDepict to do the lion's share of the work so I can just focus on fine-tuning the Visio views I need and so that I can quickly be on my way. So this concludes the overview proportion of the NetDepict product demo. Please contact us if you have any additional questions or if you require more information on product features, purchasing details, or product support. Thanks again for your time.